Peter Griffin's bunker busting mega ultra super. Ah! Ah! Holy crap! Ah! Ah! There's one of Dad's fingers. We have to hurry. I learned in biology if you get them back soon enough, they can be reattached. What's all the commotion? Oh, thanks, Joe. Let's plant a knife on him just to be safe. We're supposed to have brunch this morning. Oh, yeah, sorry. I, I had a late night. Late night, huh? What's her name, Brian? Look, Brian, I think it's wonderful you found a young lady willing to stoop to your level. When do I get to meet her? No, no, no way. She ugly. U G L Y. Screw off. Here's to Peter getting his fingers back. Thanks, Joe. Oh, boy, I tell you, I haven't felt this good since I came up with that new place to hide my porn. Ah, she's hot. Peter, you sure it's okay to be at the brewery after hours? Relax, Joe. This is where I work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, guys. Here's one. If you were God, who would you strike down first? Deborah Messing. All right, I want to be very clear about this. You can meet her, chat for a minute, and that's it. In and out. Hi, Brian. Oh, my God. Who's your cute little friend? Oh, my. Hello, Stewie. Charmed. I'm Jillian. I was watching something on TV about this guy named Hitler. <gasps> Somebody should stop him. Is she retarded? Say, Jillian, I love what you've done with the place. Uh, what is it? One bedroom, one bath? No, it's a whole apartment. Outstanding. Delicious lemonade. I know, it's good, right? I just wish they didn't have to kill so many lemons to make it. Griffin, your work output this week is even worse than usual. Yeah, it's just bum hand. I can't type with it. Well, that's not my problem. Boy, Lois, thanks so much for coming in and helping me get my work done. Without you, Angela would have been all over my case. Oh, it's all right, Peter. You know, Lois, if I'm your boss, I gotta look like a boss. Finally, I have a reason to wear this big bow tie and cigar I bought at the Dress for Success store. Who do you think you are? Back from a hot booty call with your idiot girlfriend? You know, th think what you want, but you don't see the side of Jillian that I do. She happens to be a very talented photographer. Oh, that is so lame. Every hot girl who can aim a camera thinks she's a photographer. Look, you know, I, I don't have to justify anything to you, all right? All that matters is Jillian and I have a great time together. We make each other laugh. Fine. Uh, you, you gotta hit uh, DVD and then menu and then select. Yeah. Is it plugged in? Okay, so plug it in. Okay. What? Nothing. I didn't say anything. Oh, I need a drink. Uh, hey, uh, Jilly Bean? Hi. You look good enough for a promotion. Peter, what the hell are you doing? Lois, I'm going to come right out with it. I think it would be so hot for you and me to have sex in my office. Peter, no. I have work to do so you can keep your job. Oh, look at me. I'm Lois. I'm a worker. I make stuff on things. What, what are you doing here? Oh, hi, Brian. It was so nice of you to invite your girlfriend over for dinner. I invited her for dinner? Have you ever seen the sun and the moon in the same place at the same time? <gasps> They're the same person! At a Quiznos. We both ordered the turkey ranch and Swiss. No onions! Can you believe that? No! I threw up a lot in high school, so I don't get my period anymore. This is the one you've been waiting for, huh, Brian? <laughs> I just really want to go dance. <gasps> There it is again! What is that? I forget. Do you know what the capital of this state is? Um, Rhode Island City? It's like she's fucking five! I, I should be able to talk with your friends. So then the valet pulls up, and I'm all, that is so not my car. But then, it totally was! Why can't you just admit what's going on here? Okay, okay, fine, fine, I'm gonna have to break it off. Morning, Lois, I need you to proofread this and collate it for me. Peter, did you Xerox your penis? 300 times. If I give you 30 seconds of making out, will that shut you up? We'll see where it goes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what I tell mm -hmm. you, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, God, Peter, let's do it. Let's do it right here. Ah, oh, Lois, I really appreciate you helping me out this week, and I really appreciate you having sex with me in my office. You can dump her, because once it's done, never again will you have to listen to her talk like this. You know where everything has a question mark at the end of it? Something we need to talk about. What is it? 
I, uh, just wanted to spend some time with you. Well, what were you doing in there? What's that smell? It smells like sweat and anger and shame. Yep. Brian had sex with a really dumb girl. Now he's taking his friend Stewie to get some ice cream. How did everyone have to come in on a Monday? I'm afraid we have troubling news. Due to budget cuts, we'll be laying off one employee. Oh, we're mouth. talking about stuff. I've never cleaned my ice tray. Oh, you have to do Why that. Why do I have to? You're poisoning water your and water. family. What? Oh, cool off, Griffin. It is no big deal. It's just that someone's getting fired in front of everybody tomorrow. Merry Christmas. Here's a warmed over turd from 10 years ago. Just do what you would normally do. Pretend I'm not here. Oh, pretend you're not here? All right. God, that bird is an idiot. Could be important for the company. Goodbye. You accept this, Stein? Peter, take a step forward. I'm sorry, I keep messing up. Life is flashing before my eyes. And for some reason, it's all just the sort of gay moments. Excuse me, is someone sitting here? Yes, my lover, Tom. <gasps> oh, Peter! Peter, you need to get your stress under control. I'm texting you a link to a collection of songs called Yacht Rock. La, da, 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 da. Because I don't like that. Da, 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 ba, 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 ba. No, I assure you, it's... Doctor just said I'm too stressed out. Did the doctor give you anything to help, you know, mellow you out? This music, I... I feel like I'm dirty dancing with a sunset. Cleveland, buy those tickets. Because the guys are going on a Yacht Rock cruise. Yeah! Awesome! I gotta say, Peter, I had reservations about this cruise, but you do seem more relaxed. Uh, hey, what the- All dogs have to be crated below deck. <laughs> Peter, you brought your family? This was supposed to be a guy's trip. Please, Please don't, don't tell, tell Donna. Donna. She'll she kill me if she knew why. Don't, don't hit Sam. Please don't, Please hit, don't Sam. hit Sam. And send. What is it, Bonnie? Nothing, Father Monahan. Well, this sucks now. Uh, Plan was clear. You're the stupid one. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. You mean I'm the stupid one? Yeah, you Let me tell you something. You guys gotta stop by later. Snuck on a little of this action. What? You guys are sharing a room? Wait, there's only one bed. I know. We're going head to toe. Say hello to your pillow. Okay, for the first game, I choose Alan Parsons as my teammate, but not the project. I want nothing to do with him. So, Kenny, footloose. Not really a song for everyone. What do you want to do tonight? What if we just go see a movie? We can see a movie at home. We need to go out, shake things up. Why do you always want to hang out with other people when we are on vacation? It's just nice to meet new people. Did you pack my dandruff shampoo? No. <sighs> then I guess this black shirt is out. For my next trick, I'll need a volunteer. How about you, sir? No, I don't want to. I don't want to do it. I can show you where there's a whole pile of those. You want to mess around on some damp towels next to where the seagulls crap? It wasn't seagulls. I got locked out of my room earlier. Hey, what are you guys up to? We're making a food spread in room 103. Come on by. Hey, aren't you the captain? Yes. Well, if you're here, who's driving the boat? Oh, I don't know. And look, Oates is hanging on to Hall for dear life. Guys, it's me, Kenny Loggins. First of all, I'm all right. Don't nobody worry about me. Go for. This is Chad. He's my boyfriend. We love each other. We said it and everything. Preach. Guys, we gotta get out of here! You're alive! And well! We gotta get out of here! The water levels are rising fast! Uh, I can't open it! There's too much water pushing from the other side! So we're stuck? Maybe that can't help! Oh, we found him! You guys left me down there to drown. Technically, we left you up there to drown. I'm in. All right, we're even.
Man, that was crazy. This was such a great idea for a weekend activity. Well, I thought it'd be good to get out of the house. Hey there, Mr. Octopus. I see you got two eyes, but not much else. We can fix that. Oh, look who's got pimples. And right before the big dance. In other news, former President Bill Clinton was in town today to judge Quahog's annual Miss Cankle USA contest. Brian, what is this on my shoe? My poop. That's right, and it's disgusting. I am sick of you using the front yard as your bathroom. Bye, Lois. I'm going to the gym. Okay, see you later. Wait, what? Since when do you go to the gym? I'm completely out of shape. It's all you! It's all you! It's all... Hey! Glenn, 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 Glenn! <laughs> Trying to concentrate on my cardio. How do you think it works? I have no idea. Look, Lois told me I had to start using the toilet, and you're the one who's had potty training, so I'm counting on you to help me. Careful, careful. <laughs> Hello, flabby, out-of-shape family. Check out my bulging rippliness. Peter, you've been to the gym once. For 15 minutes. Dad! What the hell? Yeah, what's the problem? We're with President Clinton's motorcade. It seems he blew a tire in front of your house. Hey, I appreciate your help, ma'am. We're a little overloaded because I'm having a fat chick party back here. Lift with your lower back in a jerking, twisting motion. Peter! Oh, my God! Call an ambulance! I thought I was just out of shape, but that ain't it at all. I gotta face the fact that I'm just getting old. You're only as young as you feel. I don't know, Reagan. I wish I could believe that. I'm gonna make you believe it. A little saxophone therapy. You can have me. Ew. It's an instructional video on toilet training. Hi, I'm Roy Scheider, and today we're going to learn to use the potty. Remember, it's not really about pushing as much as just relaxing. <laughs> Number 32. Oh no, a pizza's ready. Tag out. <laughs> Shh, quiet, quiet, it's ringing. Is this Linda Tripp? Yes. You shouldn't have talked, you stupid bitch! I hope you die! Ever since you and I have been hanging out, I feel 20 years younger. You've completely changed my life. See? I told you, Peter. Boy, I'm getting kind of hungry. Me too. Hey, hey, pull over, man, pull over. Dude, we could eat that pig. What? Dude, come on. We could totally eat that pig. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm starved. Let's do it. Ah! Ah! What, what the hell? No! No! You do not go on this lawn! Brian, I've had enough of this. Brian, if you're not gonna use the toilet, there's only one solution. My God, you're wearing a diaper! You look silly! Oh, hey, come on, man. You just gotta get used to it. Hey, have you gone yet? Have you popped your butt, Cherry? <laughs> Oh, oh, Lois, oh, uh, oh, let me make you some coffee. Ah! We lived our lives. Peter, that former President Clinton is nothing but a bad influence. I forbid you to hang out with him anymore. I'm just going to have to go talk to Bill Clinton myself. Wow, you certainly are very persuasive. Hey, Bill, you up for a little bowling? I swiped some money out of Lois's purse. I don't think she'll notice because she's here humping you. I'm so sorry, Peter. Lois? I think maybe it's better if I stay at Quagmire's for a while. I understand. I've been a worse wife than Lorena Bobbitt when she was married to the thing. Where'd she throw it? Oh, is this what you're looking for? You want me to drag my sack across your face? What? Uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry. When one of my lady friends is upset, that's how I, that's how I cheer. I haven't misjudged someone this bad since my last physical. All right. The doctor will be in in a few minutes. Peter, I think I've got a solution that'll make things right for both of us. You have sex with someone else, too. All right, Peter, who's it gonna be? Who do you want to sleep with? Anybody I want? Anybody. Don't be afraid to tell me. Babs. My mother? Yeah. Mom, would you have sex with Peter? Of course, dear. Really? Uh, Carter's been most insufferable lately. He won't even look me in the back of the head anymore. I see. Well, I guess we're good to go, then. I can't do it. I can't go through with it. Screw our marriage. I love you. Why are you naked in my house? Why aren't you? You're all right, Griffin. I better clear the air with Clinton. Hey, listen, Bill, uh, you and I need to have a talk. 
Boy, you are good. You are really good. I am so proud of you. Hey, well, you deserve all the praise for encouraging me to do it. So where are you really doing your business? You can't plant sausage seeds, they said. I was thinking we could spend some time together. Okay, are you a television set or the internet? No. Oh, then no. No, thank you. But you promised we'd go fishing. Ah, uh, Chris, I was just lying to you so you'd go away. That was my mom. She said that Daddy broke his leg. How? Apparently, he got hurt at the mall. I'm the champ at doing this. Ow! You jinxed me! Aw, oh, damn it! Hey, call that beeping cart! So, are you gonna go take care of him, Mom? I can't go. I've gotta go get my hair very minutely changed and then spend the next 14 hours trying to get people to notice. I was actually thinking that maybe you could go help Daddy. Well, not me, Mom. Last time I was at Grandpa's, I beat him at checkers and he punched one of my Hogan's. Hey, Chris, are you okay? Holy crap, it smells like farts in here. Those are my farts. Why doesn't Dad ever want to spend time with me? He just has trouble expressing his emotions. You know, Chris, you've got a Grandpa who could use your help right now. I'm sure he'd enjoy spending time with you. I I'm so bored. I can't sleep. I, I just have to lie here and wait for my stupid leg to heal.